Okay, so it's been requested a lot to do an overview on my everyday hair products. So I'm going to do that really fast. Um, it's not going to be in tutorial style because my hair is already done. It's just going to be kind of what products I use and what they do and what I think about them. The first thing I do is I get in the shower and I shampoo with Joyco shampoo and conditioner. And um, I'm actually kind of still relatively new to this brand. My sister was recommending it, so when I went home in October, I went to Ulta and picked some up. And the first, this is my second bottle of their shampoo, and the first one I thought smelled awful. It was the treatment shampoo, which had like a pH balance to make your, your scalp healthier and help your hair grow. And I thought it smelled really bad, but I kept using it because I did notice that it made my hair look really healthy. So I kind of stuck with it, used the bottle, but then when I went to buy a second bottle, I bought the Daily Care Balancing Shampoo for Normal Hair, and this one smells amazing. It smells like gummy bears. I was tweeting about this last night because it smells so good. It has evening primrose oil, so maybe that's what the smell is. I think it smells like gummy bears. So I use this as my shampoo, and then I use... Um, the K-Pack Reconstruct Conditioner to Repair Damage as my conditioner. And then I deep condition my hair at least once a week, sometimes twice. I have two. I have the Joyco K-Pack um, Reconstruct Deep Penetrating Reconstructor. And then I have the Aveda Dry Remedy um, Mask Treatment. And honestly, I interchange them. I kind of just switch it up. and Whatever one's closer to me when I'm in the shower, I grab and I use. I don't really have a favorite. But I do highly recommend deep conditioning your hair, especially if it's long or you use a lot of heat products or it's damaged. So, or colored, because my hair is colored, I use heat products, it's long, and yeah, my hair is like all of the above. So I definitely need deep conditioner. Okay, then I get out of the shower and I wrap my hair up in a towel, and someone on Twitter asked me if it makes my hair frizzy if I wrap it in a towel. I don't know. I've always done it, so I continue to do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works for me. So, And my hair naturally, if you're wondering, is curly, not spirals, but very, very, very wavy, like very crimpy and very frizzy. And if I don't use heat on it, it looks like a disaster. I have to use heat on it every single time I wash it. So I wash my hair every other day and... Um, that's still even a little bit too much Then stylists will say they'll say to wash it twice a week if you have like color damaged hair but I I don't like the not clean feeling and by the end of the second day I'm ready to like wash it even though it could probably go another day or two okay um so then I the first thing I use on it is bumble and bubble tonic tonic lotion and what this is is it says a a rich mix of vitamins, herbs, and tea tree oil tames tangles, refreshes your head, feeds your hair, and soothes your scalp. What this does is it fills in, this is what my stylist told me, I'm not an expert, it fills in the um, like areas in your hair that need a lot of moisture, it will fill it in and like moisturize it, but it will detangle it also, and it also has tea tree oil, so it's supposed to like make your scalp like tingle and feel cool and be like really healthy for your scalp like exfoliating kind of, I guess if you have like a drier scalp. Um, I didn't like this the first time I used it. I know I've talked about this on here before. I've talked about how I didn't like it and then I've come back and said I do like it because the first couple times I used it, I sprayed it all over my scalp because I thought that's what you were supposed to do since it's like supposed to go on your scalp and it made my hair greasy. So now when I use it, I only um, spray it like from like here down. It's so like the ponytail area of your hair, I guess. And... I spritz about eight times, I think, all around, kind of when it's wet, before I brush through it. Just like right when I take it down from the towel, I use this. The next product I use is Frizz Ease Daily Nourishment Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And this infuses hair with a high potency blend of vitamins A, E, and C, green tea extract, and nourishing moisture. And this also is a detangler, which I need because my hair is extremely tangly, and I think it's because it's like very textured so it does like clump together I don't know it's very annoying but I have to use lots of like conditioning treatments on it to make it soft and this also helps the um it's a slight heat protectant it says on the back but this is not the heat protectant I use I use another one but this one is good for just making your hair healthier and it also smells really good I don't even know what it smells like but it smells delicious so yeah 
Um, I recommend this. I got this at a drugstore. I got this at my Bumble and Bumble. Or my the salon I go to isn't technically Bumble and Bumble, but they use only Bumble and Bumble products. So I got this there. This at Walgreens. <clears throat> the Joyco stuff, I got at Ulta, but I actually, the second shampoo I picked up at my Kroger. They had it randomly, so I think you can get it like multiple places. Then I comb through it. And you're supposed to use a wide-toothed comb, but I just use a hairbrush. I know that's like hair, like problem 101, you learn if you have damaged hair not to do that. But I, my hair is just so tangly, I've just learned over the years to do it that way. So I recommend using a comb, but I don't do it myself, so yeah. Um, okay, so I brush through it, and then the next product I use is this Redken Satin Wear. And this is a heat styling thermal protector. This is what is going to protect my hair from the hair dryer and from my straightening iron, my curling iron, whatever I use. Put this on before I blow dry my hair because a lot of people will use a heat style or a heat protectant after they dry their hair, like before they use a straightening iron or a curling iron. But the blow dryer is damaging your hair with heat. So I do two pumps of this, concentrate it on my ends, but then whatever's left in my hand after most of it's in my hair, I kind of just run through everywhere. Okay, so um, the last thing I use before I dry my hair is I do this once a week, and this is the Joyco K-Packed Split End Mender. My sister actually gave this to me because I guess she wasn't using it as much anymore and I just wanted to try it and this mends the split ends while protecting hair to prevent damage. If you want your hair, if you're trying to grow it and it's damaged like mine is but I'm still trying to grow it out and I'm trying to like keep it healthy, I started using this entire routine right after I got my hair colored and cut last time which was about eight weeks ago. I'm actually due for a new color and cut like right now. I should probably schedule something for like next weekend or this weekend. I got my hair cut and I decided that I was just going to get like all new products and really take care of my hair because I wanted it to grow and my sister has really long luxurious hair but she also takes care of it like from the time it's here it's like pampered so by the time it gets down like really low it's literally like been treated so well its entire life whereas my ends haven't really had product used on it since it was up here so it's like 10 years of like not using any product on it so that's why I started. So this is like to kind of like fix the damage that's already done, but there's only so much you can do at that point. Okay, so then I dry my hair and I just have a chi drying or a blow dryer um, that I got for Christmas like three years ago, but it's still going strong. I still love the thing to death. So it's just a chi pro drying or blow drying dryer. <laughs> yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. Then I would straighten my hair and I use this GHD straightening iron. Um, I had a Chi and I got it the same Christmas I got my hair dryer and I loved it to death but um, last year, like last October, I was sent this by beautychoice.com and I love it and I've used it every single day since then. I've never returned to my Chi and I did get this for free but I, when it like breaks, I'm going to buy another GHD. I'm not going back to G because it really is that much better. Okay, so the next product I use is this. I know I use a lot of products, but it doesn't seem like that much because I really do like, I've just gotten in the habit and it goes really fast, you know. But this is Special Effects Flat Iron Sheer Silky Smooth Heat Memory Flat Iron Spray. And I got this at Walgreens. And it kind of smells like kind of weird. I mean, I guess it smells kind of good, but what I do with this is I just will take an end of my hair and spritz it like on the end and then straighten it. And it kind of like will like steam up when it gets to the ends, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If you guys know right below, like I don't know if I'm supposed to wait for this to dry and then straighten it, but I feel like I'm supposed to do it when it's still wet. I don't know. You guys tell me if I'm wrong on that because I really just don't know. But this is supposed to, again, give it that extra protection on the end and add shine. So I do really like this. I use this if I straighten or if I curl my hair. I'll use it on the ends, just like one spritz on each section's end. And then the last thing I use on a regular basis is this Straight Sexy Hair Smooth and Protect Flat Iron Hairspray. And this is kind of the last thing I'll use after my hair is all straightened and I'll just kind of spray it on and it just gives it like a nice shine and it smells good because I love everything by sexy hair brands. It just makes it shiny and it kind of just like 
flattens all the flyaways and yeah it says you can put it on damp hair before you use your hot iron so I guess it would be like a thermal protector too but I just use it at the end as like the final kind of spray so those are the products I use I know again like it seems like a lot but it really doesn't seem like a lot when I'm using it um if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below or if you have like a holy grail hair styling product that's like good for my kind of hair let me know if you want a video response with your own hair routines you can do that too we'll see you guys very soon bye